Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Last time, the team struck gold with the camera trap. Oh my god! Spot. It's spot. When was it? The next but day. bitter disappointment oh. awaited them at every trap they'd set up. <laughs> this time, they've got more to worry about than the big cats. And they discover a very strange animal that may just lead them to their prize. Team leader Quinton and international so trapper there, Darren are working day and night to set up traps. That is just the In setting one of these devices, uh, our big concern, of course, is the welfare of the animal, the safety of the people that are working with the animal. And we don't want what we call bycatch. We don't want small animals to be captured. So I set the device in such a fashion that a lighter animal that we're not interested in can come to and fro from a bait and not be captured. And should they fire the device, they can easily get out. We employ what we call a stop to where the device won't tighten past a certain level. This allows things like mongooses, which are a big non-target animal, to get away freely should they fire the device. But for the most part, they don't fire the device because the lack of their weight. So we target specifically for the weight and size of the animal that we're out to capture. In this case, it's the Cedarburg leopards. It's the third week of the expedition and the team is getting desperate to find the leopards. Patience and time is running out as the team leave no stone unturned on the trail of the leopard. Just when they think they may have found something, Quinton finds an old den site with the remains of an earlier leopard meal. It's the skull of a rock hyrax, a common animal in these parts and easy prey for a leopard. Not far away, Darren is investigating another trap that's been sprung. Baboon was a baboon. What you can see here, see a baboon was caught here and he went across, across, slipped it, ran off. And that's okay. You know, we don't want him. We don't want him. You can see how strong he is. <laughs> we'll straighten that out in the shop. This is wild territory, and not only home to the Cape Leopard. Deadly Cape Cobras thrive in this habitat. As do scorpions. This is Epistothelmus patisona. You guys use their pincers to uh, catch their prey, so the tail's quite small, so they're not that venomous when compared to the parabethids and that. The discovery of some fresh leopard tracks on the road causes excitement amongst the team. A leopard has made a kill and dragged it across the road. We're going to try and track, track it slowly and find, uh, find out where the carcass is. If we can set a trap at the carcass, we should be able to get him tonight. <laughs> so he's dragged it all along here. And we know from their kill site preferences it's going to be in some thick stuff probably up on the ridges there. It's a 
first record of art fuck we've ever had. Isn't that awesome? Look how big he is. I'm not aware. Wait, look at what we've got in tonight. Quinton is thrilled, not only because he's found the leopard's kill, but the kill turns out to be an aardvark. The first time he's ever encountered one as part of the leopard's diet. The aardvark, whose name translates literally as earth pig, is notoriously shy. But because of its size and fleshy body, it would make a great meal for a leopard. Check out those teeth. Look at the raking marks. Claws. Leopards typically return to their prey, so all bets are on that the leopard will come back for the remains of the aardvark later. Darren sets out to turn the animal itself into a trap. It's the early hours of morning as the team make their preparations. They're confident that this time they will strike gold. Come on, baby. There he is. Take him. Take him. Mail, mail, mail. There you go. Go ahead and take him in the shoulder Female? part. Okay. All right. Let me just get him. In the next touchy. episode, it's a here. battle against the elements and a race against time. Will the okay. team be able to collar the cat? Down a little bit. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. Put him down, put him down. <laughs> 